All right, uh, the, the cheese, which is another hybrid rudiment. If I was starting with, let's say, a middle school player or a freshman in high school, I might start out just playing some flam accents, which by middle school, hopefully they're at least working on the, the flam accent, definitely by high school, which we should already know. Obviously playing it slow. When I play the flam accent, um, I'm thinking of the accent being staccato, and staccato to me means I want to try to stop the stick as close to the pad as possible so that the grace note can stay down there. A lot of young players will play the accent where it will bounce back up. So I'm going to make sure we stop our stick and making sure we're playing open flams. Next thing I would do is try to go to the, the double beat or the diddle and try to get the mechanics and the technique that they would use to play the diddle or the drag over top of those those flam accents. So I would probably just maybe talk about the double beat and we want to use the fulcrum which to me is the thumb, index finger and the middle finger. And we're just really pinching in there to get that double beat. These back fingers go along for the right and they kind of give some control to the double beat and quality too. When you add the fulcrum and the, and the back fingers you can get a stronger double beat. If I just go all fulcrum, it's kind of tighter, the first note of the double is stronger and the second one's less, I add those back fingers and I'm able to get two double beats that are really kind of strong. With the left hand we want to use our fulcrum between our thumb and our palm and again we add the fingers on that to control the stick. And to me, with the left hand for traditional, this, this fulcrum is really key for getting a strong diddle or a double. Now, if I want to relate this to the cheese, I put it in an eighth note, a really slow eighth note pattern. Again, working on the mechanics, the fingers, fulcrum, all that. Trying to get the eighth note taps as low as possible and bringing the diddle out. Then you can add the flam. The other thing you can do too is you can work on a basic rudiment which is called a flam mill which most of most middle school, definitely high school students should know at this point. And right in there there's a sticking of a cheese. And again, thinking about the mechanics, the fulcrum, the fingers, the turn, trying to get the taps down a little bit. And you apply that to the cheese. And, and the biggest thing is, is repetition. One of the things I try to do with my students is I talk about the technique, the stroke, the approach, and the whole thing. But you got to sit down. You got to just take a pad, take 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 some sticks. You know, maybe while you're just kind kind of hanging out and work through the muscles. You got to your muscles have to memorize how all this all this works. To play any kind of hybrid rudiment, you're not going to be able to get it in 10 minutes. I mean, it's something you have to consistently work at. Start slow and build up to a faster tempo. And that's the cheese.